Hi everyone, hope everyone is doing fine today. Here's Abdul and today we have another unboxing. So if new to this channel, uh, basically I, um, I try a lot of watches, unbox them, try them out, compare them with each other. And then sometimes I keep the watches or sometimes I send them back. Um, like this one, which I bought actually and we'll be comparing it to other watches that I got this week. So this is basically a watch that I got off of Amazon, try before you buy. And uh, I'll try it out for one week and then send it back if I don't like it. And in that way I don't have any kind of financial uh, yeah, burden on my side. And at the same time be able to bring you guys uh, watch content. So this is the F16820-4 in the MJS20. Take the sticker off. Oh, yeah, here we go. And so, still here we go. So, Festina is um, one of the brands that uh, I'm, I'm covering in the past videos, which I'm trying to. Uh, uh, give my opinion on what which watches in the 150 euro range like a starter watch um, oh, that's, that feels nice it feels substantial actually so basically this is a Festina chronograph put this away let me close this so I don't cut myself so we have here the stickers, I'll take the stickers off. So this is Festina Chronograph, like I said, costs around 129 euros. That's the reference number. Comes with a bracelet, quartz movement, um, stamped bracelet, um, hollow links, as you can see, folded bracelet. It's not the best of bracelets. And here we can remove the battery saver. So it ticks, you can stop it. The chronograph, where is the chronograph? Ah, here, and the six o'clock. So basically the big seconds, and can, not to the conventional users uh, of chronographs, they, it's the, like if you look at this one, this is the chronograph with the red seconds, and when you start it, and you have the running seconds at 6 o'clock, especially in these um, quartz ones. And here we have the running seconds actually at the running seconds, the, the big seconds. And here we can see on the 3 o'clock, that's the uh, 24 hours indicator. It has, doesn't have any date window. Uh, yeah. Now it's actually... To 34 so to I can uh, like leave it like this for you guys to be able to see better it has a tachymeter on the inner bezel mineral glass as you can see closed case bag five atmos so only five 50 meters of water resistance and uh, let's see the measurements of the watch. So the watch has a diameter of 43 millimeters, a lug to lug distance of 50, and the thickness of 11 millimeters. And I think it has a 22 millimeters lug width. Um, I don't want to be, uh, let me get the tools and get maybe a strap and come back to you guys so we took the bracelet off and let's see it's 22 millimeters so let's see what we have for 22 millimeters i think that one would be the perfect one to put it on As you know, I'm trying to cover a lot of stuff in these uh, 
uh, unboxing so maybe i'll pause here and show you the effect uh, the finished uh, picture afterwards so here we have it on a bond nato strap 22 millimeters does go well with the black doesn't have any uh, kind of air coating this mineral glass uh, as you can see no haptic feedback in the uh, in the chronograph button does it work yet? It's, it's working so let me put it on my wrist and show it to you guys so the watch is very flat and it shows that it really doesn't um, fit my my wrist so much I have a 17 centimeter it's just I, I it fits but uh, it feels a, a bit larger than it should be like if you compare it to the citizen which I will compare it to another video uh, this feels more compact I think because of the design of the lugs that the lugs are going down and you have here the lugs are just straight from both sides so it does feel a little bit awkward on the wrist and this haptic feedback uh, does bother me as well that there is no haptic feedback and that it's only 30 minute chronograph so I'll, I'll try it out but I do think that I'm going to return it <laughs> as fast as possible because um, there are a lot of things that I don't like even in, in just six minutes now um, the haptic feedback, the AR coating, the weight of the watch is very very light the flimsiness of the bracelet um, but as a, as, a, as a chronograph look, if you're looking for a look without the function it does look good and if you have a big wrist it could fit you quite well so that might be the caveat of the day anyways thank you so much for watching hopefully you learned something or you enjoyed the video if you did leave them in the comment section if you have any comments if you have any other opinions also leave them in the comment section and hopefully see you in the next one bye bye everyone